Let's go. That's good. Don't you boys ever help anyone else? Sure, but we like you. <laughs> How much are we away, Pop? Be my guest. No, no, what do you think we are, moochers? Come on, moochers. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks. 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 Stay away from that phone, Pop, or we'll give you trouble. Take it easy. Hey, what's the matter with you punks? Oh, Iris, look what you've done. <laughs> what's the matter with you kids? You want to ruin the car? Take it easy, eh? We didn't mean to bend that pretty iron of yours, but Iris is just learning how to drive. Isn't that right, Iris? That's very funny, isn't it? Very funny. <laughs> Come on, Red. Oh, yeah, move. Move. <laughs> oh, Iris, where was you? I thought she was going to help out. Just when you ain't here, uh, we I'm was crowded with... I'm still here. I was busy. Yeah, we was all shopping. Uh, shopping, shopping with what? The whole bunch of you ain't never seen a quarter in one piece. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you call that? Coolness. Well, gee, Winnie, I didn't mean nothing. Just cool. Leave me alone. Let me talk to someone. Hear what I said? Well, forget what I said. You want to be a big wheel? <laughs> no, I don't want to be a leader. Leaders got too many things in their minds, man. I just got time for one thing, Eddie. One thing. <laughs> Give me the stuff. How much you think we got, Eddie? Looks like about four bills. Not bad. That's about a hundred apiece, split four ways. Five ways, punk. Oh, well, that's right, yes, Iris. Yes, I meant five. What do you have? Uh, chicken fried steaks, please. Could I use the phone? Yeah. Come on, Anil. Get a little service over here. You got a bunch of live ones. Great. One. Uh, live ones, live ones. A bunch of wise ones. Hear that, Chuck? The old lady's a gad. Yeah, real gad. <laughs> I don't know. It could be a loose battery connects, but I'm not sure. But haven't you got somebody over there? Wait a minute. It's in front of Nadine's diner on the... Hey, what street is this? Fourth Street. Thank you. On Fourth Street. The house of... Oh, you get over right away. Well, thank you very much. Where'd you get the oh? Where'd you get all the money? Oh, come on, Iris. Tell your old mama where'd you get the money, oh, Grandma. Hey, mama. mama. Yeah. 
dry up and you go out there and get us some chowdy. Ah, sure I will. How would you all like some nice chicken fried steaks, huh? Great. Hamburger oh, and fries. Like Operator, this is Harry Bayless. I want a place to call the Harry Bayless Agency in Los Angeles. Iris, leave it alone. You'll get it later. Oh, honey, uh, I was just looking for some change for the jukebox. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Go have yourself a ball. Oh, honey. No, operator, I haven't got any more coins. Now, look, uh, just reverse the charge. It's my own office. Yes, thank you. Come on, Eddie, let's rock. Not on an empty stomach. Oh, come on, baby, just one dance. Okay, just one. Sing to me, baby. Get off my back, will you? Come on, Eddie. Okay. Leather coat, duck bill hair. Tell me why I don't care. Yeah, Helen, I got the quartet all set the hilltop out. And then I came here and count his jukebox. Playing it cool, real slick, having a bar with a crazy chick. Sideburn don't need your sympathy. Don't cry for me I'll get along Just let me be Sideburn Don't need your sympathy Sideburn Come on, sing one more. After I eat, baby, oh. sit down. Hey, look, uh, get in touch with Marzi and finally he's fill that spot on his TV show. I'll sing you a moon tune. Pick up on it now. Lay, 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 make it happen, lay, lay. Swing and come on and you stink. Well, swing and go around. Yeah, I think I found somebody. Look, I'll tell you all about it when I get in. Bye. Excuse me, I would have liked to talk to you a minute. Oh, now, Pop, you asked us to push you. Besides, we just scratched the paint a little bit. Well, the car? Oh, forget about that. Say, where did you learn how to sing like that? Who, oh, me? No, not you. I mean him. Call that singing? That was nothing. Eddie learned to sell this thing, didn't you, Eddie? Shut up, Iris. What are you selling? Well, I'm not selling. I'm buying. You see, I'm an artist representative. What? Well, I'm an agent. I handle the singers and performers for television. You mean you want Eddie to sing on the TV? Well, if he'd like to, I think it could be arranged. But, uh, like a couple of people to hear him first. We ain't interested, right, Eddie? Yeah, I, I ain't no singer. I think you are. You are them, Pop. We ain't interested. Don't beat it. Cool it, Moon. He ain't talking to you. Look, mister, he gets paid and everything, don't he? Why, of course. How much? Well, that all well, depends upon the job. How much? Well, I'd say to start about a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks for a great big star. Man, we make that in one little hall. <laughs> well, that's only that's for peanuts, one... peanuts, mister. Well, maybe it's peanuts to you, but it's only for one little show. 
But if you make, you've got what I think you have, you make a hit, who knows, $10,000, $15,000 a week. $15,000 a week? Well, why not? Yeah. Why not? Mm. Say, anybody here call for a mechanic? Oh, I did. I'll be right off with you. Okay. Now, here's my card, son. If you get in town tomorrow, drop it and see me, and we'll see what we can do. I don't know. Well, just take your time, son, and think it over, and but let me know by tomorrow. And uh, thanks for the push. Why, oh, God? Gee, Eddie, you're, you're going to see him, aren't you? I don't know. Eddie, you become a big, fat star. You ain't ever going to forget your buddies always stuck by in our eye, Eddie. No, of course not. Who? Of course not. <laughs> I'm Eddie Crane. I called before. Oh, yes. Mr. Bayless is expecting you. I, uh, I'll tell him you're here. Eddie Crane is here, Mr. Bayless. Good. Send him in. <laughs> you can go in, Mr. Crane. Okay. Hey, how about that? Well, there are some people inside. It, it might be better if you waited out here for him. How about that, Eddie? Would it be better? Hey. Uh-uh. My friends go where I go. See. Si. What's your name? Helen. Helen Tracy. Hi, Helen. Hi, Eddie. Come on, hon. Well, glad you could make it, Eddie. Uh, yeah. This is Mr. Marsh in the TV station. There's Josh Beerman. Josh is going to play for you. Hey, this is the boy I told you about, Eddie Crane. Uh, how are you, Eddie? Okay. Oh, uh, these are my friends, Iris, Chuck, Red, Mooney. I can sing, man. Hey, Moon. <coughs> baby, baby, baby. You the guy that's going to put Eddie on the TV? Well, I don't know, miss. Uh, we came down to hear him sing. If he's anything like... Oh, uh, come on, Pop. Eddie can sing rings around any of them. He can sing better than any... Shut up, Iris. Well, I just want You hear what I said? Okay, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Just sing. Anything you like. Joshua can play. You read music? Nope. Hey, do you know with a look... And he can sing that, right, honey? Yeah, I guess so. What am I doing here? I ain't no singer. Come on, honey, do it for me, huh? Okay, I'll do it for you. Play. show, but uh, I'll take a chance. Good. Well, the show's tomorrow night, so uh, we better get you checked into a hotel. Take care of that, will you, Helen? All right. Wait a minute. What about my friends? Where are they going to stay? Well, uh, I didn't know you were coming to town with hey, What about that? Well, either they stay with me or I go. Not just a minute, son. Don't give me that sun bit. Either they stay or I go. All right, all right, Eddie. Helen, you put them all up at the hotel, and uh, you better get Eddie a new outfit for the show and well, anything else you may need. 
Right. But be sure he gets back to rehearsal tonight. Okay. See you tomorrow. For men's clothes is a lot harder than I thought. You like the things we picked? We? You mean you picked? I wouldn't have known what to get. Thanks, Ellen. Well, what should we eat? You want to start with a cocktail? Oh, I don't think so. I feel like I'm loaded already. <laughs> You're pretty excited, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, the show tomorrow and the clothes in this place. I never thought I'd be doing this. I can't even believe it's happening to me. Well, it is. And it's you, all right. And this is only the beginning. Yeah, but me. I never done anything to deserve it. I mean, I've been floating along, taking what I wanted, because I knew nobody would ever give me anything. Getting pushed around so long, you start pushing back. Harder and harder. You get to like it. You feel like somebody. What, Eddie? What do you feel? I feel like... Like... Oh, forget it. No, no, please. Tell me. I feel I can't keep my hands off you. Why? I don't mean nothing like that. I mean, like when I first saw you. I felt I'd been away somewhere for a long time. And I was coming home and you were waiting for me. Like your eyes were saying, Eddie. Eddie, where you been? Like I've known you forever. I wanted to hold you and tell you I'm never going to leave you again. That's how I felt. Now have a good laugh. Eddie, I'm not laughing. You're not, are you? Well, I must be flipping. I never talk like that to anyone. No kidding. No. No. showcase continues as we present a young man who's making his first appearance as a singer tonight. We know you'll enjoy the talents of Eddie Crane. Well, here goes nothing.
just to prove to you that you're the only one I'm dreaming of, my darling. And he sings your little heart desire. I just can't do enough, my sweet, to make your life come true. That's it, Eddie. Nice work. Thanks very much. <laughs> What's the matter with you? We're hot. We're on the air. Now you cool it, Daddy. Now we're friends of the star. Hey, come on, Moon. Break it up. What are you doing? Say, what's the trouble here? Nothing, Mr. Vale. It's just a little misunderstanding. Eddie, Mr. Marsh, you'd like to see us in his office for a moment. Can you come in uh, alone? Yeah, sure. You guys wait out here. I'll be right back. Come on. Well, here he is, Ray. Congratulations, Eddie. You have a lot of talent. Thank you, sir. Now, why don't you kids go over there and sit down and let a couple of old men talk business, huh? <laughs> well, Harry, as you know, I just have a local station here, but I'd be willing to talk contract and build a show around your boy if you're interested. Well, I appreciate that, Ray, but uh, you know I don't want to tie Eddie up here. Now, you understand. Oh, oh I can't say I blame you. <laughs> Yes? Mr. Morrissey, we're getting all kinds of calls about Eddie Crane. They think he's terrific. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you, Grace. Hear that, Eddie? Looks like you're on your way. Hello? Yes? Oh, yes. Who? Oh, put him on. It's Walter Letterman of Universal Records about Eddie. Hello? Yes, Mr. Letterman. Yes, he was sensational. Our switchboard's been lit. What's that? No, he's not under contract to me. Oh, I see. Well, uh, his agent is right here. I think you better talk to him. Talk to him, Harry. <clears throat> uh, hello, Mr. Letterman. This is Harry Baylor. <laughs> oh, I'm sure something will be worked out. Well, that's a little quick, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure. We could rehearse all day, yes. Oh, no, don't worry. We'll be there. Yeah, thank you very much. Come on, kids, break it up. Huh? Well, what do you think, Eddie? About what? What's the matter, Eddie? Weren't you listening? Eddie, it looks like you're an overnight sensation. You record tomorrow night for immediate release. No kidding, me? Yeah, and you know what that means? If you hit a guest spot on every top show, and then when you're ready for it, the Eddie Crane Show. I can't believe it. It's so quick. <laughs> well, that's the way it happens in this business. Sometimes it's faster, not at all. Yeah, I see what you mean. But don't kid yourself, son. This is going to mean an awful lot of hard work. Now, I hope you're up to it. Mr. Bayless, all my life I've been kicked around for nothing. I ain't afraid of working to get someplace. Thanks, son. I know you won't let anybody down. No, sir. Hey! How long are we supposed to cool our heels out there, man? Moon, you hear the news? I'm going to make records. No kidding. Yeah, ain't I, Mr. Bayless? That's right. Yeah! Hey, man, that's crazy. Hey, this calls for a celebration. Come on, let's shake this town up tonight. Now, hold on here just a minute. Now, I know you're all happy about this, but Eddie's got to get some rest. He's recording tomorrow night, you know. What you talking about? My Eddie's a big star now. He don't have to worry about singing. He can do with his eyes closed, can't you, honey? Yeah, I feel fine. Yeah, I think Mr. Bayless is right. There'll be plenty of time to celebrate later on. You could catch cold or something. What are you, his mother? I didn't... Iris. Maybe they're right, I, uh, I gotta protect my voice. Oh, pick up on that job. Well, maybe we just ain't good enough for you now. It ain't. Maybe you got some new buddy. Shut up, all of you! I ain't walking out of nobody. It's just... Uh, I don't know. Come on, let's go back to the hotel. I'll see you tomorrow. Eddie. Yeah? Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Let's go, baby. Helen, good luck.
What's the matter, man? Ah, that old duck downstairs cut us off. Well, I know where we can get all the lush we want, man. Where? It's about a two hours' drive from here. You mean the old guy with the liquor store? We can't stick him up. His two weeks ain't up yet. <laughs> matter, man? Why don't you join the party? Are you afraid you might be catching a cold, man? Hmm? Maybe you just want to be with that sweet little nothing you've been making eyes with, huh? Get off my back, Iris. I'm thinking. Dreaming is more like it. You're dreaming how you're going to be a big fat star and how well you and Helen are going to hit it off. Isn't that it, big shot, huh? I told you to stop riding. Maybe you just like us to walk on out of here and you can forget you ever knew us. Isn't that it? I told you to leave me alone. Oh, man, I get your message. Oh. I'm sorry. I said it's been my stack. I'll get it. Yeah? Uh, I'm the hotel manager. What's going on in here? I've had complaints from every room in the house. What's the matter, Egghead? Can we have a little fun? Oh, oh my goodness. What have you done to the room? But this is terrible. But you'll pay for this. My goodness, you pay for this. Who's going to make us? You? Why, you young hoodlums, I'll call the police. Hey, man. You say one word to anyone and I'm going to moon you. You're going to what? Moon you! You can rely on, on me. I, I, I won't tell a soul. But who's going to pay for the damage here? Just put it on the bill, mister. I'll see it's taken care of. Oh, thank you, sir. Now you get on out of here before we change our mind. Uh, well, you, you can uh, trust in my discretion. I, yes. Uh, sure. <laughs> Boy, was he scared. You can trust my discretion. <laughs> it won't be so funny if he calls the cops. He won't. He's so chicken he could grow feathers. <laughs> Poor. Place is like an old lady's home. Well, yeah, Eddie. I thought we was gonna be celebrating. There's no booze or nothing. Yeah, honey, come on. Come on, let's go somewhere and live it up. You can if you want to. I'm gonna hit the sack. Seat. What's eating at you, honey? Nothing. Well, you seems so different. Are you different? Nah. Same old Eddie. One day and you seem changed. Can somebody change in one day? You can change in one minute if you want to. If you want to? I don't know, Iris. I just don't want to disappoint someone who trusts me. Bayless or that secretary of his. I think I trust you, Ed. Stay out of this moon. Oh, no, no. Now, no kidding, now. You think they're doing something for you because they like you, Eddie? Sure, why not? Oh, come off it, Eddie. They're not doing for you. You're doing for them. They figure you for a quick buck, man. If they thought you could make a big bundle for them, they'd throw you right back in the sewer where you came out of. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, now, don't I? Why, they don't even know you, Eddie. Not like we do. Supposing somebody told them about the last year or two, man. Oh, not that anyone ever will. But just supposing they found out. Now, what do you think you're of new buddy buddies? What do you think they do to you then, huh? They drop you like a hot potato, and you know it. Hey. <laughs> I see you know it, man. Moon's right, Eddie. We're your real friends. Didn't we stick with you all the time? Yeah. Didn't I even go out and, and get a car for the heist? <laughs> yeah. Ah, come on, forget it. Let's go out and kick the town up a little. Now you're talking, Eddie. Come on, let's go and find some kicks. <laughs> you're talking. Come on, Eddie. Come on, man. I'll need me a belt. <laughs> You want to go in here? Well, let's go somewhere. I don't want to drive around all night. Hey, man, do they serve drinks? Come on, let's go inside and have a Man, I ain't going in there unless there are any drinks. Oh, come on, they serve drinks. You yeah. Hey, 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 come on, let me in. Hey, take it easy. Service over here. Hey, hey, take it easy. Don't you see there's people eating here? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Charlie. We didn't know you were running a graveyard. Yeah, it says diamond dancing, so where do we dance, Charlie? Right here, and I ain't Charlie. I'm Gus. Well, where's Charlie? We want Charlie. We, we want Charlie. Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Let's go out of here. You're going to throw us out, Charlie? All by yourself? Huh? All right, all right. What do you have? How about a menu? I'm hungry. Sorry, the kitchen's closed. Well, get with it, man. Open it. You heard the lady, Charlie. Open it. Well, maybe I can fix some ham sandwiches. Okay? Yeah, all the way around. Good night, folks. Right. Want to drink? Coffee? How about some booze? Sorry, no liquor. No liquor and no food. What are you staying open for, Charlie? Name's Gus and no liquor after two. It ain't two yet, Charlie. Go get the sandwiches. We're hungry. How about that big fat slob? Forget it. Come on, baby, let's rock. Sure, honey. If you want to watch TV, go home. This ain't no living room. Why, you... Sheriff's office. Now you punks will get it. Hey. Oh, Charlie. Oh, don't, don't do that, Charlie. Oh, come on. Don't call the cops. Oh, come on, will you? We, we were just having a little fun, Charlie. Sheriff's office? Let me talk to Sergeant. Oh, come on, on this, Charlie. Will you give us a break? I'll put the bottle back and, and we'll pay for what we drank. Well, you put it back and then we'll see. Hello, Mike? Yeah, <laughs> Gus. Hey! Uh, no, never mind, Mike. Listen, I'll, I'll call you back. Thanks, Gus. You'll never be sorry. Hi, let's get to the door and keep a lookout. Right, honey. What'd you have to hit him for? What'd you want me to do? Kiss him, Big Eddie? Ah, you. Chuck, give me a hand. Let's get him out of sight. Is he dead? No, I just spent a little. Come on. Someone's coming. All right, cover us. Iris, come with me and play it cool. Yeah. Come on, baby. Honey. <laughs> Hey, you! Come here a minute, boy. Get in the car, Iris. What do you want? What's going on inside? What do you mean? Oh, you know what I mean, fella. Any action? Any women? Chicks? Broads? Oh, no, man. The joint's dead. There's nobody there. They're closing up. Hey, you, uh, scored, huh? Yeah, I scored. Okay, boy, take it easy now. Yes. Eddie, I'm here. 
Oh, this yeah. is fun. Chuck, <laughs> come on, get him out to the car. Sir, I'm scared of it. Get in the car. We ain't got forever. How's it look, Eddie? It's okay. Does it hurt bad? It burns. It just burns. Eddie. Yeah? I ain't gonna die, am I? Of course not. Doc will fix you up in a few minutes. Doc, man, we can't call it Doc. He'd turn us all into the cops, man. <laughs> that right, Eddie? You can't get a doctor for me? Sure we can. Wait. Don't get a doctor for me. I'm gonna die. You know I'm gonna die. Oh, please, Eddie, get some help for me. I don't wanna die. You try, baby <laughs> punk. Are you afraid to die, man? <laughs> Shut up! You've got us in this without hiding yours. I've taken all I can out of you. You went back and killed that barkeep for no reason, didn't you? You went back and killed him, didn't you? Yeah. Why? Why'd you have to do it? Why? Well, I, I've done it for you, Eddie. For me? Yeah. Why for me? I didn't care none about myself. When I went back into that bar, that, that fat barkeep, Charlie, he says... What are you talking about? He said he's going to remember what we all look like and spill to the cops. You're lying. No, I'm not. I got to thinking, Eddie, about you, about you going on television and how he might see you and how he might recognize you, Eddie. He'll send you up for life. Might even burn you, man. Burn me? Nobody's gonna burn me. I ain't ever killed nobody. You have now, Eddie. You're in it just as much as I am. We're all in it. Together. You know that, don't you, Eddie? Don't you? Huh? Yeah. Take it easy, Red. Huh. Does that hurt bad? It throbs a little. I'm sorry, man. Uh, how's it look? Not bad. You'll be okay. Iris, give me that bottle. Uh, this might sting, Red. Are you ready? Yeah. Just in case you want to yell. Maybe that's good. What do you think, Eddie? Will he be all right? I don't know. But you can thank Gun Happy over here. We're in real trouble now. Why? There are no witnesses. I took care of that. Did you? What about the guy that was sitting at the bar? He got a real good look at all of us. What? Man, he can't prove nothing he didn't see. Oh, I see. What about Red here? How are you going to explain the hole in him? Say a vampire bit him? Helen was right. How did I ever get mixed up with a crazy bunch like you? I must be nuts myself. What? How did you get mixed up with us? You hear that, Mooney? How did you... Just who do you think you are, a big shot? Yeah. Someone twist your arm to get you into the gang, man, and someone force you. Well, it don't wash off, Big Eddie. You're one of us. You've always been one of us, and you are going to stay one of us. Are you hip? Huh? Yeah. Eddie... Eddie, she's giving you a lot of crazy ideas. She's getting you all mixed up. She'll never do for you like I will. You hear me, Eddie? Eddie, where are you going? Out. I got a lot of thinking to do.
Hello? Helen? Hi, this is Eddie Crane. Eddie? What's the matter? Nothing. I just wanted to talk to you. I'm glad you called, but it's so... Ah, I know why I called you. Well, I'm glad you did. Eddie, is something wrong? What is it? Is it the show? Is that it? I ain't worried about my career or shows or nothing. Because I ain't going to do no shows. What are you saying? I went out. That's what I'm saying. I ain't your boy. You made a mistake. I can't sing enough. Why, you have a wonderful talent. Please don't throw it away now. I threw it away a long time ago. Hey, please, if I've done anything to change you... Is that it? Can't you get it through your head? It has nothing to do with you. It's me. Me. I'm no good. I'm just no good. I gotta get away from you, from me. What's wrong? Tell Mr. Bayless thanks for believing in me. Now I gotta hang up. Eddie, are you there? Eddie, answer me. Yeah, I'm here. Eddie, you... You asked me this afternoon if I felt what you did. I love you, Eddie. I don't know how or why it's all so quick, but I do. I love you. If you think so crazy and mixed up, I feel I'm still asleep, but I know what I'm saying. I love you. You can't just go away and disappear like that with a telephone call. I've got no choice. I've got to get away. But why now? Why right this minute when your whole life is opening up for you? A, a once-in-a-lifetime chance of success. What people would give anything for a chance like you're getting. What's in it for you? What's in it for me? Yeah, you're making a big pitch. What's in it for your end? A lot of quick cash, maybe, if Eddie hits the big time. Is that it? You think I told you I loved you because I want to keep you here for business reasons? To, to make money off of you? Well, for your information, there have been hundreds of new talents I've been around. Do you think I told them all I love them just to keep them signed to a contract? I never told anyone anything like that before. I never loved anyone until I met you. Now I'm sorry I told you. Helen, you don't understand. I understand. It's all over before it got started. Thanks for telling me now before I made a real fool of myself. Helen, wait, please. Goodbye. Helen! I'm coming over. show up here, all set to spill your guts out to Mama upstairs, all about how the big bad boys made you do things and how you didn't want to do those things. Isn't that what you were going to do, Eddie? Yeah, I can see it, Juan. You're flipped. Why don't you lay off the moon? Eddie wouldn't do that, would you, Eddie? Of course not. What do you think I am? Of course not. What do you think I am, Eddie? A cook? You got him wrong. Eddie wouldn't run out now, especially with Red so bad off. How is he? Gee, not good, Eddie. He's real hot and moaning and talking funny. Hey, what are we going to do with him? What are you asking me for? Because you're the leader of the gang, Eddie. Ain't you the leader, big Eddie? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Eddie, what are we going to do with him? I don't know. We can't leave him like that. He may croak. Then we won't have no problems. Shut up, Moon. Got to try to get him to a hospital right away. Oh, sure. We walk over to the hospital, up to the desk, and we say, we'd like to make a deposit in the gunshot wound department. Oh, that's real smart, Iris. Well, can't we just drive him over and leave him there? And have them ask him how he got shot. He'd drag us all into it. Red wouldn't talk, would he, Eddie? Moon's got a point. We can't go out with him in daylight. Okay, we'll wait till tonight. Then we'll get out of here and take him to a dock in a small town somewhere. I only hope he holds out till then. Eddie, you, uh, you really quits with them? I mean, Helen and Bayless? Yeah, I'm quits. I'm glad, honey. You know, she wasn't for you anyway. She ain't our kind. No, she ain't. Kind of sore you ain't gonna be a big singer, though. I was kind of looking forward to getting all dolled up and going out with you and, and having everybody looking at us. Hey, the morning papers ought to be out. So what? So it ought to be full about that fat slob I knocked over last night. Oh, Moon, you're so sick. I'll bet you wish they knew you did it so you could get your picture in the paper. Yeah. 
my name and my picture in the paper. Everybody would look at me and say, that's Bob Mooney, the big shot. I'd be a celebrity. Why do I bother to talk to you? You know something? You're nuts. Why do you want to be a singer, Eddie? Why? Because everybody can look at you and say, that's Eddie Crane, the big celebrity. <laughs> I'm the same way, Eddie. Except I don't know how to sing. Does that make sense, man? Yeah. To you. Put that thing away. Why, man? We might have to blast our way out of here. Nobody knows anything about us. Put it away. I was getting the door and find out who it is. What's going on in there? See, I told you the cops. Let's blast them and make Shut it up. Shut up. It's only the house stick. Let me handle it. Yeah, what do you want? I have a manager with me. He wants to talk to you. About what? About your bill. Open up. What should we do? Talk to him. Okay. Well, you see? You see what they've done? What's this about the bill? We ain't checked out yet. And besides, Mr. Bayless is taking care of it. That's just it. Mr. Bayless called and said that he won't be responsible after this morning. Well, we decided to stay till the night. We'll pay you for the extra day. We don't want you. That's right. You're undesirable tenants. You have to get out. Besides, there's a matter of the damage you've done to the room. You're going to pay for that, too. Look, mister, why don't you let us stay till the night? I promise we'll pay for everything we brought. What'd you do? Bring protection with you this time, Chicky? Huh? Don't get wise, son. What's the matter with him? A bad cold. Hey, fatso. Are you a real cop or are you just a chicken inspector? You don't like cops, do you, son? No, I don't. Not real cops or play cops like you, man. Moon, shut up. Go and take a walk and get them cold pills spread like I asked you. Go on. You hear me? Cold pills and play cops. That boy's gonna get in trouble someday. Yes, sir. Look. Can we stay if Mr. Bayless tells you it's okay? Well, if Mr. Bayless says it's all right, then that's good enough for us. All right, let me make a phone call. Operator, get me Majestic 2202, please. I'm sorry about that mess. We had a little... Hello? Oh. Hello? Helen? This is Eddie. Is Mr. Bayless there? Can I talk to him, please? Hello, Mr. Bayless. This is Eddie. I'm sorry about that. Well, I think you threw away the chance of a lifetime, Eddie. I had some big plans for you. I know, Mr. Bayless. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Is it too late to change my mind? Oh, you mean you could do with that recording day tonight? Yes, sir. I realize, like you said, this is my big chance, and I'd like another crack at it. Oh, I know. I haven't had a chance to call and cancel a date yet, so everything will be all right. What's the matter, son? Did you get scared? Yes, sir. I got scared. That's it. Uh, look, Mr. Bayless, the hotel manager's here. Will you tell him it's okay for us to stay? Why, sure. Oh, but listen, Eddie. You've been over to Universe Recorders there at Highland Hollywood. Now, get there as soon as possible so you can start rehearsing the recording day tonight. Now, I'll meet you there. Yes, sir. I'll be there in about an hour. Good. Now, put the manager on. Yes, Mr. Bayless? Just charge everything to me and, oh, yeah, give them anything they want. Oh, yes, I understand. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, I guess everything's all right. Uh, would you please try to keep your friends under control? I will. Thank you, sir. Well, looks like you're going to be a big star after all, huh? Yeah. I got to get dressed. I'm going over to Universal Recorders. You want me to go with you? I'll answer that myself. No, that is. That's it. Hi. You all right? Mm, yeah. Is this your first record? It's my first anything. I never even sung before the TV show last night. Professional, I mean. No kidding. Well, you'll be all right. You're moving mighty fast. This is the hottest label in town. If your record clicks, you'll be on top in no time. Yeah, I sure hope so. Do you, um, you read music? Afraid not. No? Well, that's all right. None of the new artists do. That's what we have this full dress rehearsal for, so you can get used to it. Want to run through it a couple times? It would help. All right, if you'll, uh, go over there and use that mic while we'll get going here. Uh, okay, boys, let's do the song so Eddie can get the feel of it. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Helen. 
Let me explain about Shh, it. Not now. It's all right. You're here. Would you like some coffee? Yeah. Cream? Black. Where's Mr. Bayless? He's over there. I'll get you coffee. Psst. Hurry back. Eddie, you can uh, take it easy for a few minutes. We've got to check some levels here. Okay, thanks. Glad you're back, Eddie. Thanks, Mr. Bayless. I sure appreciate... Ah, oh, forget all about that. But I hope you're not going to change your mind again, though, are you? No. Eddie, I want to talk to you. Now, Helen seemed to think that you're in some sort of trouble. And so do I. Now, what is it, son? Why don't you tell me? I can't. I can't understand what you do with a wild bunch of punks like that. And that's all they are, you know. I know it. Well, then why don't you break away from them? Tell them to leave you alone. I can't. Don't you understand? I can't. You mean you don't want to? Of course I want to, but I can't. They won't let me. That is, I... I forget it. They really have a hold on you, haven't they? Yeah. Here's your coffee. Oh, thanks. Well... <clears throat> Here's to us. To us? Mm -hmm. Okay, Eddie, we're all set. Are you ready to try one? Yeah, I guess so. We'll hear this in the booth. No one suspects You'd better be careful Or you may be next It strikes When you never expect it to Yes, love is a thief That will steal the heart of you Love wears a mask A tender disguise Beware of that innocent look in its eyes It hits And there's nothing that you can do For love is a thief that you've got to surrender to He's really something special, isn't he? Yeah But I hope I didn't bite a horn and I can chew What do you mean? You know, you were right. That kid's in a heap of trouble. What kind? Well, I don't know, but it's got something to do with that gang he runs around with. Harry, we've got to help him. How? I don't know. Talk to them. Explain to them something. Find out what it is, Harry. You can help him. I don't know. Please. For me. Hey. You really stuck on that guy, aren't you, kid? Crazy, huh? No. Well, mind the store and keep Eddie here till recording time, and I'll be back. Where are you going? Why, to protect our interest, of course. Thought they were smart, but their laughter was brief. Along came a thief and ran away with their heart. Love is a thief. That lives for romance And once you're his victim You haven't a chance Look out Cause you never know When he'll call There's no telling What love can do Make a king Or a wreck of you Still this wonderful Thief called love Is wanted by all What do you want? It's Harry Bayless. Eddie ain't here. I know he's not, but I want to talk to you. Yeah? I want to talk to all of you about Eddie. He wants to talk to all of us. What are you doing? It's all right, Iris. Don't panic. Okay, man, you invited yourself up here. What do you want? Well, you certainly have wrecked this place, haven't you? We're just having a little fun, that's all. Hey, what's the matter with him? He's dying. Well, wait a minute. What's the matter with Forget him? Forget him! Talk! Well, all right. It's uh, about Eddie. Now, he's got a chance to be something. And we're standing in his way, is that it? Well, I don't know, but I know he's involved with you in some sort of trouble, isn't he? He'd tell you that. He didn't tell me anything. 
But look, I know you're in some sort of a jam. Now, why don't you tell me? Maybe I could help you. <laughs> why should you help us? Well, if everything goes all right with Eddie, uh, we'll be together a long time, and I'd just like to know all about him and you. And... Well, why don't you ask Eddie? Well, he won't tell me anything. That's our boy, Eddie. He wouldn't squeal on us, man. What did he tell you? Nothing, I said. Nothing, I said. You're lying, you big fat teeth. Hey, man, take it easy. You think you can get your boy off the hook by turning us in, isn't no, it? Shut up, he don't know nothing. Yes, yeah, that is, isn't it? You probably got this place lousy with cops. I was right. Down there, filthy with fuzz. You better get out of here, quick. Come on. You ain't going no place, mister. You invited yourself up here and you are going to stay. Honestly, son, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go, Mooney. He ain't going to talk. No, he ain't going to talk. He's going to get a chance to talk. Get back. Right Mooney, stop it. You're going to get us all burned, Mooney. What's the difference? You kill one, two, or a hundred. I'm going to get your buddy Eddie, too. I've always wanted to get Eddie. You're the guy who's going to make Eddie a big celebrity, ain't you? Like me, a big celebrity. Did you read the morning papers this morning, Daddy, huh? Did you? I'm in the morning papers, me. I killed that fat barkeep. And they don't know I done it. But I'm going to tell them I done it. Son, you, you don't know what you're doing. I killed that fat barkeep! Oh. <laughs> I'll take care of him. Come and get it, Fuzz. No, that's crazy. Move. No, no, no. Open up. No. What? 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 Come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. I ain't going with you. Come on, get out of here. I ain't going with you, Looney. Come on, no. That's it, fellas. Till tonight. Well, <laughs> good going, Eddie. Went very nice. Thanks. You won't forget about 7 o'clock tonight? I'll be here. Okay, we'll see you then. Well, how do you feel? I'll make it. Come here. I want to talk to you about that phone call last night. I didn't mean it. I know you didn't. Neither did I. About goodbye, I mean. I meant all the rest. About how I feel. I know. I wish I could tell you about myself, but I... What are you afraid of? That you won't love me? Honestly, darling, I love you and nothing will change you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hello? When's Mr. Bayless getting back? He'll be here for the session, won't he? Of course. Helen Tracy, telephone. You can take it out there. Ah, oh, it must be him now. Hello? Yes, this is she. Hospital? Or what happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, of course, I'll be right over. Oh, poor Harry. What about Harry? What happened? He's badly hurt. Hurt how? Accident? No, I, I sent him over to your hotel to talk to... To talk to who? Mooney and the others? There was a fight or something. Mooney stabbed him. Oh, no. 
no, that crazy. Eddie, I'll get him for this. Eddie, please. I'll get him for this. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm going with you. There are some things I've got to tell you on the way. Things you ought to know. Come on. Sorry, I That crazy... Forget it. I'm okay. Relatives? No, I, I work for Mr. Bayless. Oh. I'm Lieutenant Mann. We caught most of the gang, but the guy who caught up Mr. Bayless got away. We'll get him. I hope so. The ones we have in custody won't talk, but the hotel manager gave us a description of the other two. Two? There's Mooney and Eddie Crane. Mr. Bayless, you can talk now. I wonder if you could help us find them. No. I couldn't tell you where they are. Yes, you wouldn't. No, Lieutenant. I'm afraid not. What did you say your name was? Well, I... Oh! Oh, oh Lieutenant, with my side, will you please call the nurse, please? Oh, it's all right, <laughs> Harry. She'll be right here. <laughs> I'm all right. I just want to get rid of him. Mr. Bayless, let me explain. Eddie's just told me all about himself. He he thinks he's to blame for what happened. It wasn't your fault, son. Mr. Bayless, I don't know what to say. You and Helen helping me like that. I'll make it up to you. Honest, I will. I don't know how, but I will. I know how. Yes, sir. Anything. You just go through with that recording day tonight. Just as good as you possibly can. Now do that for me, huh? Yes, sir, I, I will. I know you will. What are you thinking about? You and me? But I know about it now, and it hasn't changed the way I feel. And you know how Mr. Bayless feels about you. I know. The cops are looking for me. You and Mr. Bayless line to protect me. I'm not going to mess up your life, Helen. And I'm not going to run anymore. Eddie, please. It's no use. You don't understand. I finally found something to live for. Everything I want is right here. And I can't have it this way. Oh, Eddie. You understand what I have to do? Yes. Now go make that phone call. Tell them they can find Eddie Crane here. Oh, don't ask me to do that. I can't. Please, for me? I'm afraid if I have to do it, I might chicken out the last minute. If you love me, do it for me. Go on. Okay, let's make it. Suspect Eddie Crane at Universal Recorders. Okay. You want to hear the payback? Can you hold it a minute? I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. You bet.
Yes, I guess it's right. Thank you. Did you do it? Good. Hey, Eddie. I'll be right back. Hi, Eddie. Surprised to see your old buddy? Yeah. I thought you'd be out of town by now. Where you been? You loaded? No, no, I'm not loaded. I'm tired, man. I've had a day. You know something, Moon? They're looking for you. Yeah? You too, huh? Yeah. I'm sure glad to see you, Moon. No kidding, Eddie? Well, I thought you'd be mad. The way I leaned on old Bayless. <laughs> Boy, I really got him, didn't I, Eddie? Oh, I got him good. And I've done it for you, Eddie. For me, huh? You know something that's always for me, isn't it? I went back into that bar. That fat barkeep Charlie said he was... What are you talking about? You're not talking about the barkeep. You're talking about Bayless. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Bayless. He said he was going to tell the cops and they'd take you away and burn you. You know something, Moon? You're so sick you don't even know when you're lying. Oh, Eddie, what are you saying? I've done it for you, man. So you could be a big shot. Did you read the evening papers, Eddie? I'm a big shot. I'm a big shot, man. You're a punk. Oh, Eddie, what you saying that for? And after I come all this way so we could go off together like we always did. <laughs> you, you remember that store, Eddie, we always used to hold up? Well, I was thinking we could get down there and grab us some quick loop and get down to Mexico and be bandidos. <laughs> How does that move you, Eddie, man? We're going somewhere together. But it ain't gonna be Mexico. <laughs> you gonna turn me in, man? Well, now I'm awful glad you said that, Eddie. Because now I can tell you why I really came. I was gonna wait like I got down to Mexico, but now's as good a time as any, man. Get you. And then I'm gonna get you good. Now I'm gonna spread you all over this valley. <laughs> Come on, punk. Get me, I'm here. I'm Eddie Crane. I know. Let's go. Hey, give me a second, will you? 